top five for Cannes. Top five that I've seen or top five so far? So far. So far. It's only day two. It's only day two, so yeah. I can hardly be blamed. Um, I would say my top one is uh, Matteo Coroni's Il Racconto dei Racconti, or Tale of Tales, mm -hmm. which is this wonderful kind of hyphenesque um, 16th century folk tale mashup, right. starring Selma Hayek, John C. Riley, Vincent Cassel, and Toby Jones. And it is absolutely wonderful. I think it's terrific. Polarizing. I heard some. Very... Some people don't like it. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's bizarre, and very erotic, and mad. It's like those kind of art porn films from the 1970s that I love, um, like Immoral Tales. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. Creepy art porn, people dressed in people chateau, chateau porn from the 1970s. It's a bit like that, but it's also kind of like Alice in Wonderland, like the 19th century illustrations. So brilliant! I love it. I, okay. I'd watch it again in a, in a trice. Um, the Japanese film Hirokazu Kuroda's uh, Our Little Sister, about three uh, 20-something women sisters who live together and discover that they have a half-sister who's 13 who wants to come and live with them. And it's a lovely, touching movie with interesting narrative and uh, character-based subtleties which kind of emerge throughout the film. And I love that. I feel it was too Those two are the top. Those two are the top so far. Um, the ones I'm really looking forward to, of course, it, it, there's only one film that everybody's really looking forward to, and that's Love by Gaspar Noé, the enormously offensive, as I imagine, 3D sex film, which is which is showing it at quarter past midnight. Yeah, go, after midnight. Uh, you can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, that poster was three massive. Uh -huh. oh it's bound to be very, very offensive. I mean, I imagine that what it will have is it will start with something very offensive and build, I imagine, to, to about 70% of the way in. The great man will have a showstopper lined up for us. And trust me, he will have something ready. He will do, nobody, nobody's seen it yet, but my goodness. It, the, there's only one film that everybody's really looking forward to, and that's Love by Gaspar Noé. The enormously offensive, as I imagine, 3D sex film, which is, which is showing it a quarter past midnight. Yeah, go after midnight. Uh, you can't I wait. Oh, I can't. I mean, that poster was three massive. Uh -huh. oh my God. It's bound to be very, very offensive. I mean, I imagine that what it will have is it will start with something very offensive and build. I imagine to, to about seventy percent of the way in, the great man will have a showstopper lined up for us. And trust me, he will have something ready. He will do, nobody, nobody's seen it yet. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> because this is worth staying up for. This is worth, oh my god, it'll be, I mean, it'll have all his trademarks, which is, I eat and be very offensive. Um, and as it's in 3D, it'll be kind of in your face. In your face, offensive. It will have all the things that he loves to do. Like, he, ha he likes putting music on with that weird throbbing effect to make you nauseous. He told me that he, d he discovered that the, the secret police in some sinister, tyrannical state as crowd control had this sound, this sort of throbbing sound, which is at the exact frequency to make you throw up. And of course Gaspar loves playing this in his films, there are all sorts of things. And also strobing. <laughs> he loves stroboscopic lights to make you, you know, sort of sex, violence, strobe lighting. Everybody's gonna be everybody's gonna have a, you know epileptic fits by the end of the film. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna, I hope I'm selling it because it's gonna be amazing. Um, I'm looking forward obviously to the Amy Winehouse documentary. Uh, and also Todd Haynes' Carol with Kate Blanchett based on the Patricia Highsmith novel. Really looking forward to that. And goodness, what else is there? Like Beth? Um, Beth with the, with the dream team there. Michael, dream team. Michael oh Fassbinder God. is Beth. Marion Cotillard is Lady Macbeth. I mean, it's so sexy. It is I mean, so sexy. It's sort of beyond sexy. Yeah. Yeah. It's irresistible. It is irresistible. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. very sexy. It's very sexy. And that's what cinema has to be. It has to be sexy. To survive, it has to be sexy. Um, what else is there? Oh, um, and you're going to watch Nina just for it, which is so exciting. Oh. So yes, he has tweeted me, and I think I've tweeted it back, or well, I certainly intend to. Yes, I I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's on in a few days' time. Uh, going to definitely going to see it. Definitely, definitely going to see it. Excellent. Thank you, Peter. Thank Have you. A good festival. Thank you. You too.